you can see I'm on the website sacredaccounting.com. I just recommend to have a quick look at the website, like to just know about it and how is it looking. It just looks like a basic uh, content website, uh, which is about probably about accounting and finance. So uh, apart from a content website, the monetization series seems to be they are trying to earn from product reviews. That's why they have affiliate disclosure and all those things. So yeah, this is my own website. So that's why um, I know a lot about it. Um, I will be behaving or acting like this is my client's website so that you get to know more about the whole process. So yeah so from the first look i can see the navigation is not that great it's two line it can be one line and this area when you land on the website in the first screen that you see it's called above the fold area you can see um it doesn't it just doesn't give some unique kind of information to users like it says learn accounting and finance for free and we all post yeah, it's good. It is uh, a kind of uh, telling the main purpose of the website that is accounting and finance and people can learn it for free. But it can be used to more advantages well, like we can include some more information about the website. And this navigation doesn't um, sound good to me, it doesn't look good, great to me. So it can be maybe we need to put some of these like about us or contact us to the footer like you have it already here so why uh, a navigation looking like that just doesn't look professional to me so then they have uh, this um, different categories and linking out to them uh, like accounting dictionary if you bring, click on this you will be in this category and all the posts in this category you will see all the posts in this category yeah so this these images looks like these are broken maybe there were images here but it looks like broken so this is the first few things uh, that uh, we note during the website just looking at the website and then there is this archive widget july june may april march january yeah so it looks like the website has not been updated from July 2021. That's why there is no archive. Uh, people like to see a website that has been maintained actively, where people are actively maintaining and managing it. Most of the time, people likes it. So if uh, you don't have any time to update the site, why not just <clears throat> don't show this archive so that people um, People are not fooled, are, are kind of um, misunderstood that you are not even updating the information like this post is being dated 2019 and this one as well. So I, I, I'm sure because I'm in the accounting field, these, these definitions never change almost for years. So it's okay to show information from 2019, but still people like to have, uh, to have a look at information that's up, updated frequently. So i would recommend to not show this kind of archive if you want to really want to persuade the user so yeah this is a uh, the i will jump back to home this was a category page and if you look at some other categories like audit and assurance you will get to know this as well yeah 2019 is the last post april 2019 it's like 2022 so it's almost 2020 2021 2022 almost three years since this website was updated so yeah it's been a bit long time so the same is happening with all other web categories if you look at them and then there is this disclosure of um amazon affiliate program which looks fine but yeah it should, can be improved but yeah let's just skip this for now yeah we, you can even recommend the website owner to like have it in a beautiful way rather than just back off that just doesn't look fine to my eyes yeah and yeah this is the visible things so i'll jump to my conclusion area
uh, sorry, uh, auditable recommendation area and maybe recommend these things. Likes, all right, we can see, we can see the home page. Analysis, let's just looking at the Fabs home page. Obviously, this is an or all site audit, so we are not trying to look at each and every page. So most of the time, we will be looking at the home page. You can make it is an edge too. Okay, so I can say the navigation. Top navigation. Is is two lines currently? I recommend removing some pages and making it one. Liner or pro. Maybe you can uh, just take a screenshot as well. And if I open my snippet tool, let me open my snippet tool. Okay, so I'm here. Uh, I have turned on the snippet snipping tool. Yeah, let's just have a snap uh, snip of this. <laughs> okay, I'm not. A, English speakers, so yeah, pardon me. Okay, we can just add over to our page and paste it here, and then we can. I also recommend to use above the fold. To showcase how can different users get benefit from the site rather than just seeing beyond accounting and okay and then yeah there might have been some there should have been some grammatical errors you can correct them before sending it back to the client okay what was the other thing that we noted down and when I visited some category pages like accounting dictionary and auditing and insurance as and is repetitive so why not use this kind of one I found out that featured images seem to be broken Like I'm telling them this thing. If you go to the auditing and insurance, you see these these kind of feature images were working. Uh, we had noted it. Come on. Yeah, it was there. Over the here. Yeah, I'll use the order. Yeah, so there is an image here, but it's broken. And why not take a screenshot of this? I 
I recommend editing the posts and fixing the images. Okay, and then what was the other issue? So people like to have like to read information that is regularly updated the posts on your site looks like they have not been updated since almost three years I recommend <clears throat> going through posts and updating them at least once in six months time. Okay, so this is uh, our recommendation so far when we had a quick look at the website page.